Northern Arizona is full of surprises for cave researchers or speleologists. This new genus of a millipede was discovered in a northern Arizona cave. It's an albino millipede that can provide scientists with more information on the Earth's history and cave ecosystems. And what makes this millipede particularly interesting is that it is considered a relic species. It is a species from, a, from the past. This millipede actually occurred in the leaf litter during the last glaciation when we had deciduous trees on uh, throughout northern Arizona. And as the climate changed, these millipedes sought more favorable conditions underground. And uh, as a result, they are now restricted to the cave environment. Cave environments can be harsh, unique areas and mostly unexplored in this area. Wynn estimates there could be as many as 3,000 caves in northern Arizona, and they've studied just 30. We've already discovered 10 new species, as well as two new genera of cave-dwelling insects from just 30 caves. So that tells us what we have left to discover. We have a lot of work to do, and I think we're going to find a lot more new species, potentially new genera, and I think it will get really interesting when we actually begin to look at the ecology of these organisms. Why do they occur in the cave? Why do they occur in the cave environment? What do they do in the cave environment? How do they interact with other species in the cave environment? I think that's where it's going to get really interesting. Wynn says the cave exploration he's doing with other scientists is unique because it hasn't been done before. He also says he's eager to push the envelope of exploration to see how they can best contribute to science and natural history. Well, I, I think from a more philosophical perspective, I think the more we know about our natural environment, the, better, the more we're tied to it. And I think it gives us a greater sense of place. So in better understanding what folks, some folks may deem, oh, it's just a little bug, what does it do? It, it can spur imagination in children and, and people of all ages and get us more connected to the land and perhaps through some extension maybe make us better stewards to the land. Wynn would like to create video modules of cave research in northern Arizona to share the mysteries of speleology with school children and people interested in the ecology of caves.